It was almost 50 years ago, almost, that I first felt the fear and the thrill of walking across the swinging bridge and that I heard the clack of melamine dinnerware in the hot old dining hall and that I sang you're a grand old flag around the flag pole. and that I cried without shame around the council fire the last night of camp. Thank you. Thank you for this place and congratulations um, for this day. When we um, interview kids and teens and we ask them what it is about their uh, campfire camp experience that is most important to them, here's what they say, like over and over and over. They'll say, well, I can't wait to see the friends I made the summer before. They'll say, I get to learn stuff, but in a fun way, not like in school. They'll say, um, I get to be who I really am, not the way I have to fake it during the school year. They'll say, nobody ever judges me. They just let me be me. They will say, I get to give up my cell phone for a whole week, and so like, I don't have to text all my friends all the time. And they will say, um, I'm going to keep coming back because someday I want to be a counselor. And then they will say, I know I am learning how to do things. I am doing things I never knew I had the nerve to even try. And I do them and I love and them. And that makes so El Tesoro not only a special place, but sacred ground. I can guarantee you that there has been a lot of work done to raise funds design what we need, and get these wonderful buildings completed. All of this was done, of course, because of the need to provide programs that contribute to the health of our children. Not just their physical health, but the emotional, social, and cognitive health and well-being of our youth. And finally, these facilities are here to help provide a place where our children can develop a love of the outdoors so that they can be environmental stewards of the future. It gives me great pleasure to announce that our new building is named Wohilo Lodge. than one of our first campers. Okay, everyone. Woohoo! Woo